Hello friends. Welcome to my bedroom. <laughs> so I'm getting you situated and your your charger because you're a little low on, on energy right now. So let's get you pumped back up. All right. <laughs> so today, oh, let me start by saying hi. Welcome. Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. Uh, and welcome for the first time if this is your first time. And allow me to give to you if this is your first time. Jazz hands. Welcome. Some of you hate this, but I do it anyway because I like it. Um, so today I'm going to do just like a really, I'm so frizzy, just like a really um, simple, like I'm just putting some makeup on my face. I'm going to film a video after this and so... I just wanted to spruce up a little bit, feel a little cuter than I have been feeling. Um, and so I thought that I would go ahead and go live. And uh, if you wanna join me, that's cool. And in um, my roast, roast, my, my roast recent, my most recent uh, beauty box unboxing and uh, first impressions, um, I floated the idea of showing you the eyeshadow palettes that I have, because I was talking about having palette fatigue. Um, and so I thought since I'm here at my vanity, we could go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna um, get ready and show you the palettes that I have. So I am very moisturized in this moment. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna add any more. Usually moisturizer is like what I use as a primer. Um, and this is the one that I do use. It's the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. And um, I really like it. But I'm not going to put it on because I did my skincare this morning and am heavily moisturized. So we're going to skip that. Um, but I am going to put on a little bit of my um, Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. This has SPF 30, which I really appreciate. Um, and I, it's just, you know, a light coverage something. Hey, Donna. Um, so I use the shade Buttercream 03 in case you are interested. Afternoon. Is it afternoon? No. Is it? I have no idea. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit of this on. I'm not going to put like a ton on. This is, um, this product specifically is part of my project pan and I'm trying to see, oh, all right. We have about a third of the tube left. So we're doing okay. I haven't been using a lot of it lately just because I haven't been, um, Putting on any makeup, we're like 12.07, or we're barely, barely afternoon. So I'm just putting on a little bit. Um, so yeah, how is everyone doing? How is life? I know life is really weird right now, and um, we're all adapting to a new situation, a new way of living. Um, So yeah, okay. I'm doing pretty well. I had a rough week, not last week, but the week before. Um, and then last week was a lot better. Um, one of the reasons is that my partner started working from home. And so that just made me feel a lot better because I didn't have to wonder like, who are you interacting with? And like, who are you around? And is anyone set? You know, it's like, I know where you are. <laughs> I can feel a little more comfortable. I'm just going to put on a little bit of powder. Um, I'm trying to pull things from my project pan um, drawer. I have a whole drawer actually right under you. This is all um, my project pan stuff. Um, a few items are out on my vanity top right now, but I have them all in this drawer so that I can remember to use them before I reach for other things, unless I just really want to use something else. Um, but I am trying to get through these products. And I need to do an update on Project Pan because um, I did go ahead and get rid of the lipstick that I had in here because it was just old and it was like not, the formula like obviously was old and it wasn't applying the way that it should. So I made an executive decision and I got rid of it. So I'll talk about that in another video. Um, so this is the Glossier Wilder and this is in the color light medium. This is before they um, revamped their shade range. And so that tells you how old it is, but it still works really well. So it doesn't smell weird. 
It works super well. There's a strange noise coming from outside. It sounds like my neighbor's running a generator. Cool. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. So let's do a little bit of bronzer, I think. It can be a little bronzy. Not a lot. I am not good. Listen, I'm not good at makeup. <laughs> I like to wear it, um, but not particularly skilled at putting it on. So I like to go light with things because I don't trust myself to like go heavy. <laughs> Okay, so this is the Hula Bronzer from my Project Pan. Look, oh, it's getting so good. Anyway, I mean, it's, it's getting used. It's going well. And so I know some people like use bronzer like to almost contour, but I really like to apply bronzer as actual bronzer. <laughs> so I like to do kind of um, the high points, right? But I also use highlighter, so these areas get multiple hits. So we've got bronzer on the nose a little bit, on the forehead, and chin. Um, so very light because I have gone a little heavy before and it's not good. And then I've been super into blush. This is the blush from my Project Pan. It's still pretty full I mean it's like very full let's be real and then I also have this which is not in my project pan but it's kind of like um secondary project pan a little bit so this is the cheek parade cheek palette from benefit um and it's got a whole new hula so as soon as I'm done with my hula mini I'm gonna exclusively work on here so it's got a regular hula and a hula light um, and Hula Light is great because especially like right now, I'm like real pale because we're coming out of the winter. Um, and so this is probably what I should be using so that I didn't have to go so light on it. And in person, I think it, you can see it more than on camera or at least on my screen. It looks like I didn't put anything on. But in person, it does look like I put something on. Anyway, and then it has these three as well. So I've been really enjoying exploring blush and trying out different shades so for a long time i didn't let myself wear blush because i have a um redness in my face uh that has developed over the past like five years or so and um i went to a dermatologist and she said that it wasn't rosacea but also that she didn't know what it is and so i kind of just treat it like rosacea and that a lot of the ways of kind of babying your skin and and some of those products actually help so it's not rosacea, but I, it's like, it acts similar to rosacea, but she's like, I don't know what this is. And we tried different things and it just got expensive. Um, cause each thing that she wanted to try, I had to like get that stuff and it just got too pricey and I gave up. Um, but the whole point is I never would let myself wear blush because I felt like, oh, I'm already red, but I've really been enjoying blush, um, which is handy because all the beauty boxes seem to be in like a huge blush phase right now so I just like lightly put it on and I blend it up towards the hairline and so my favorite blushes are the peachy blushes which this is more of like a rosy a rose color um, and I think it's pretty but my favorites are the peach blushes but I've been enjoying this um, and I just put on a little, sometimes I go heavier and sometimes I don't. I actually tried this that I got from a beauty box. It's a blush serum from Butanio. Butanio? Oh my God. I don't know if that's right. It's a lip and cheek cream color. And this is a really pretty peach color. I really like this a lot. Um, it's in the drawer where I usually, would usually keep my blushes and so I forget about it um, because it's not in my project pan thing. But anyway, it's really pretty. And so on days that I'm not wearing like a base, then I um, have been putting a little bit of that on and it looks really pretty. Okay, we have comments, I'm gonna go back. So Donna says, everything's good. Working at home, avoiding everyone. Vacation officially canceled. I'm so sorry. I know you were looking forward to that. Um, 
that's such a bummer. I think that's happening for so many people right now. Hey, Kat. Uh, let's see, Belvedere Green. Hey, Laura, glad you're having a better week. This is week three of working from home for me. And honestly, I need to take a day off as soon as possible just to relax. Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. Like, and even if you're not taking the whole day off, like find, find a time during your day just to do something that is not work and that is just like relaxing. Um, we need self-care more than, more than any other time right now. This is such a stressful time. This is a, you know, this is a trauma. Like we're in a daily trauma right now, um, a collective trauma, the whole world. And we need self-care and that doesn't have to be a bath or, you know, whatever, like the stereotypical, like glamorous self-care things. Like sometimes self-care is, you know, do, doing something that feels a little hard, but ultimately it is for your benefit. Um, cutting off toxic relationships, making a choice, saying no to something. Um, cat, use the crap out of your cheek parade palette. I really like it. It's so nice. Hi, Helen. Um, Kat says, I'm not loving homeschooling. Google's my friend. Oh my God. I can't even imagine having children right now and like having to entertain them <coughs> and having to like entertain them and school them and try to like make time for yourself. Oh my God. I'm so impressed by people who are like having kids in the house right now. I'm glad it's not me. <laughs> I'm glad it's not me. Okay. Next, we'll put on some highlight. This is the one from Project Pan. This is not an exciting get ready with me. It's all the same stuff that I've been using. So this is the Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive. Oh my God, relearning algebra. Well, it was bad enough the first time. The only math that I was ever like reasonably good at and like reasonably good, not great, <laughs> was um, geometry. That made more sense to me. All right, and I'm putting on highlighter. So I really like this highlighter from Ofra. I would repurchase this. Um, it's in Project Pan just because it's gonna get old if I don't like really work through it. And I like to put on a lot of highlighter. So if you don't, that's cool. But I love highlighter. It makes me happy. I like. Uh, sparkly kinds I like just shiny kinds um, I don't know I just love highlighter I love like sparkly things in general though so it kind of makes sense for me so then I'm just going to I have this big fluffy powder brush um, but it doesn't have anything on it and I just like to go back over the cheek products that I put on and um, just kind of give them a little blend so that there's no like harsh lines and then kind of buff out that so it's not just like you know um I saw a comment Jeanette maybe I missed this but what is project pan yeah okay so if you don't know project pan um it's a thing on the internet that people do where you have items that you want to work through um either because they're getting old and you need to use them before they just like go bad or it's something that you like but you don't ever remember to use it or it's something that you don't really like that much but you don't want to just throw it away <laughs> so basically it's like any product that you want to work through and use it up whether you would repurchase it or not um and so you project pan it's like speaking about like you know it's referring to the pan right you like so you hit pan on something so this i hit pan on this a long time ago <laughs> um and so the idea is that you collect like whatever it is some people like try to pan all lipsticks at the same time so you just like work through these lipsticks i chose to go the full face route and so in this tub i keep from primer to setting spray and everything in between these are all my project pan items and so those are the ones that if i'm going to wear makeup i want to reach for those the most to try to use them up and so some of them are farther along than others <laughs> like that blush is almost full but um, the bronzer is like almost done, right? And so um, when I'm done with this bronzer, my next Project Pan bronzer will be a, just a different one. So I'm probably gonna start working on the Cheek Parade, the Cheek Palette ones. Um, and so like I already replaced 
the original Project Pan uh, lipstick that I had was a MAC lipstick in the shade Chili, but the formula was, had gotten gross. It was too old. So the next one I'm doing is this Kat Von D lipstick in the color Cathedral, and we'll just go ahead and put that on now since we're talking about it. I can't talk and do this, so hold on. I really like this color. It's very pretty. I would repurchase this. Um, but I have it in Project Pan because this is kind of old. And so I just want to work through it. And like there's a ton left because I have a lot of lipsticks. And so that's one of the reasons that people do Project Pan is like I have a lot of makeup. And if I use like a little here, a little here, a little here, a lot of stuff goes bad, you know. Um, even though, I mean, this is like old, this is definitely like past its, um, however long they give you, oh, 12 months. This is for sure way older than that, but it's still good. The formula still feels nice. It doesn't smell weird. Um, and, but the other one I got rid of and switched to this one cause it was not good anymore. So, um, anyway, that's what Project Pan is. And some people are like real hardcore about it and they like have a spreadsheet. Um, you can get a spreadsheet from the two women who do beauty news, like the makeup breakup, they both do Project Pan and they actually have a spreadsheet that they have for free that you can download. <clears throat> and um, you can like track your items if that is like appealing to you. And while I do love spreadsheets, um, I like to make them myself. I don't have one for this. This is just, if it's in the tub, it's Project Pan. So that's how I'm doing it. Okay, so I'm gonna put on some eyeshadow. And I'm gonna use my Project Pan eyeshadow. So mine is the Naked 3 palette. And um, I want, the reason I want to work on using this up is because this was, I don't know, Jeanette sent me a text. Should I look at this now? I can't look at it. Um, Oh, Jeanette, you already do this. A couple different tubs, depending on the look you want. Yeah. So, um, this is kind of old. But, like, honestly, eyeshadow, to me, I think stays good for kind of a long time. But you just got to keep an eye on it. Make sure there's nothing weird happening with the formulas. But, honestly, the reason why I'm project panning this is because this was a gift from someone who then treated me very poorly as a friend. And um, it was kind of a traumatic friend breakup. But I don't want to just throw this away because like what a waste of like some very beautiful colors that I like so much. So I'm just trying to use it. I want to get to, you know, a place where I feel like I got a lot of use out of it. And then I'm going to get rid of it because it's every time I look at it, I think of this person and it's bad vibes. So I'm just going to do like a really simple. Um, so I like this color a lot for like kind of a all over the lid. I guess a transition shade, as some people would say. I don't tend to wear a lot of the dark eyeshadow colors just because it's just not like the look that I like. And or I don't know how to apply them well, so it doesn't look good. <laughs> so I'm just going like a light natural look today. I'm not trying to do something crazy. Um, I just want to do a little something. Okay, so this is the shade Nooner, and I really like it. I really like these, like, rose browns. I think that they look nice on my skin tone. I think they look nice on pretty much any anyone's skin tone, but I happen to like them quite a bit. It's kind of my go-to. This, and actually what I do a lot of is using Hoola Bronzer as eyeshadow. That's actually one of my favorite, like, super quick things to do. So this is kind of a similar look to that. So what about everybody else? How's everybody doing during this super weird time in our lives? <sighs> Tell me. I want to hear what's going on. All right. Mm -hmm. I have been finding putting on makeup a nice, um, like, fun self-care activity that I can do from inside my house that doesn't make me interact with anyone um, and put myself at risk. And so I've been like coming into, you know, coming to sit at my vanity and just like playing with makeup and doing like 
kind of like wilder looks than I would normally wear. Um, and so that's been really fun getting to play with, I have a lot of colorful eyeshadow that I do actually wear, but I wear in more like accessible daytime ways. <laughs> but sometimes it's fun to play with, um, what am I doing? Clean brush. <laughs> sometimes it's fun to play with those things and like do something a little, you know, a little wilder than you would normally wear. And sometimes people, you know, there's a lot of people that just like wear that eyeshadow all the time, which I'm really impressed by. And I just don't think that I have the confidence to do that. Um, the confidence in my skills and also just to like go out wearing like loud makeup. Just because I am the person who like in the past would have put on this eyeshadow and then been like, oh my God, is it too much? And like ask my husband like so many times like, is it too much? Oh my gosh, it's too, and like start like rubbing it away, which is so funny to me now. Um, Cause I'm not like that anymore. Like and now I can recognize that this is like a very minimal amount of eyeshadow. <laughs> but I used to put on like even less than that and be like, oh no, it's so much, it's so much. So for me wearing those colors is like, you know, kind of a big deal. All right, I wanna put a little metallic on the inner corner. So I'm gonna choose this like bronzy metallic that I can't read the name. Trick, I think it's called Trick. Anyway, this is one of my faves also. I really love this palette. Um, it kind of bums me out that like I have these associations with it now. And so I think of this person. So just a little, I don't even know if you can see that, but I can see it. I love shiny things. Um, let's see if anybody has said how they're doing other than the ones who answered earlier. Let's see. Um, oh, Jeanette, sorry to know you're filming on your phone. <laughs> yeah, I am. I always do my YouTube lives on the phone now because the quality, um, I got used to doing that because the quality on my old webcam was so garbage. <laughs> Um, so I started switching to the phone, but now I have a better webcam, but that's attached to my laptop. Okay. That's literally all the eyeshadow I'm going to do. Very simple. Very chill. All right. So I'm going to do my eyebrows and I think we're done. So let's talk about my eyebrows. I'm trying to grow them out. You guys look at this. I've been using a lash grow or a brow growth serum to try and fill in so this one is better at growing hair than this one. So I've been putting it here, like under the arch to try to fill it in. And you can see that there's hair that's growing, but it's growing like kind of below the space where I want the hair to grow. I don't know what's wrong with that particular place, why it will not grow hair. Anyway, but in the meantime, my eyebrows look like this, which is something. <laughs> um, and it's really hard to not just like get in there and just like, oh, pluck it out, you know? Um, Helen, I'm still like that with eyeshadow, gives me the fear. Yeah, <laughs> it took like um, a year really of like playing with makeup and like getting more comfortable with like, you know, trying bright colors. Oh my God, trying bright colors for me was like such a big, such a big thing. Um, and now it, I'm, you know, I leave my house and like, eyeshadow or full makeup looks that a couple of years ago would have made me go, oh my God, you know, like whatever. And now I'm like, whatever, like I wear like bright orange or, you know, whatever. Um, so, but I like trained myself to be more comfortable wearing color because I wanted to, because I see all these people like do these amazing looks. And I'm like, oh my God, that's so cool. And then like, I think about doing it for me or I would think about doing it for me and be like, oh my God, I can't do that. Anyway, so. And my makeup skills have gotten better. Not that they're great. Listen, I'm not trying to say I'm some beauty guru, but they have gotten better than they used to be. I have moved away from the one look that I would do from high school. Um, <laughs> so I am a little bit more um, versatile now. Okay, so also from the Project Pan bin is this Glossier Boy Brow. And you know, I used to really like this a lot and I just don't anymore. Um, I purchased this again, so this is like, 
maybe the third one of these that I had. And I know they're really tiny, but it's got a ton of product in here and you don't need a lot. Um, but this one, I've been like less happy with this one. Like I, right now I'm wiping stuff off the brush. I don't know if they changed something about the tube, but now there's like always way too much product on the brush. And it didn't used to be like this. Used to, I could pull it out, get any like, you know, like stuff on the tip that had accumulated, but I didn't have to like wipe it, you know, off. But now I feel like I do. It's like too much. So, and even now, like still, I'm going to have to go back and like clean this up because there's still too much on the brush. It just doesn't seem as good as it used to, which is a shame because this is like, this has been my favorite brow product because I don't like a real filled in brow. I just like, you know, basically mascara for your eyebrows. That's what I like. But it's like, I gotta go back in and clean it up, but I love the way it looks. It makes my not super bushy brows like look much bigger. Anyway, so. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think I'm gonna repurchase this because it doesn't seem, it, it's like so much work every time. I have to like really get in there and like wipe the brush off and then there's still too much. I really liked the, um, brow gal which is so hard to say brow tint I think it was called it has a really slim brush and not too much came off on it um I really liked that I got it in one of the beauty boxes and used it to the last like to the last drop completely um and I want to get a new one but I don't want to get a new one while I still have this and so I've been trying to work through the brow products that I have. Oh my God, I'm concentrating so hard right now. <laughs> uh, before I get a new one. But yeah, I would totally buy the brow. So hard for me to say. Brow gal. Brow instant. That's what it was called. I loved it. It was so good. All right, so then I just go through, to get some of the excess that's in there, I just go back with my spoolie. And of course, like this eyebrow always looks bigger than this one because it has more hair, even when I add stuff to it. I'm gonna keep using the brow serum, the brow growth. I was very skeptical, but it is honestly working. I, I swear to God, like, I've been trying to get hair to grow here for so long because I was a big fan of the thin brow in the 90s and the early 2000s, let me tell you. I recently saw a photo of myself from, when was that from? I don't know, whatever, late 90s, early 2000s. So thin, so thin were my eyebrows. Um, so, and this one has always been better, but this one has really resisted. So I attribute all of this growth to the, um, it's the Grande, Grande Brow Serum. I bought the like travel size and it's lasted me a really long time because the full size is really expensive. So I got the smaller one, which is still like $30, but I think it's worth it. It's working so well. Um, I haven't been able to get hair like this to grow ever. So very pleased with that. Anyway, so I have the, the boy brow and then I have this small gimme brow. So when that's over, I'm gonna work on using this up and then I think that's my last tinted brow gel. Yeah, because I have a clear one, but that's it, okay. And then after that, if the beauty boxes don't send me any more, uh, then I'm gonna purchase the brow gal. I wanna say brow gal, the brow gal, <laughs> instant. Um, so yeah, I think that is the face. We're gonna do a little, little spray. You may notice that I'm not using mascara. It's because I can only use tubing mascara because it um, I have really oily, I guess, eyelids and lash line, and it just ends up down here. Even the most waterproof, secure, whatever, blah, 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 it always ends up down there, and so I just can't do it anymore. And so then the mascara that I have, um, oh yeah, I took it out of here because it had gotten it was like thick and like it was done. Um, I gotta get a new one, but 
I keep not buying it because it's expensive. <laughs> so if you have tubing mascara recommendations, I'll leave them in the comments. All right, so now we're gonna do the palette tour. So I'm gonna open my palette drawer and we're gonna look and see. So we're gonna start with my little guys so that I can get them done first. Um, and you're gonna see why I have palette fatigue because I have way too many eyeshadow palettes that for any normal human being who is not like a beauty guru or something. So this one is Style London and I got this in a beauty box and initially made fun of it because it looks super cheap and like trash, but uh, it's actually really great. You can see, well, you can kind of see in the shimmer that I have been using it. I really love this a lot. The um, the undertones of these browns are different, and so if you apply them um, lightly as a transition, it's like, you know, you get the undertone, and then you can apply it darker as like the darker shade. And so you can use one shadow to get a whole look and have multi multiple tones. Um, and so my favorite is this one. It comes out almost pinky. Uh, if you do it lightly and it's so pretty and obviously I like this shimmer a lot. It's the most used So yeah, that was a great one from a beauty box uh, You know don't judge a book by its cover and then I got this also from a beauty box. This is the Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions palette It's really pretty I've used it a little bit um I mean, it's really, I don't know what to say. It's really nice. I love purple eyeshadow, and so I'm shocked that I haven't been using this more. But um, it's great. I wish there were more mattes in here. As much as I love shiny things and I love a shimmer, I wish there was more mattes. Okay, the next tiny one I have is the Nubian palette, the mini version of the Nubian by Juvia's Place. This is really good, like just warm tone browns, like so good, like every day. Um, yeah. And the full size, you just get more colors, but like even the mini here, you know, you've got light, you've got middle, you've got dark, you've got shimmer. This is great. Like this little palette, this is really good to travel with because you can do a lot. All right. And then this isn't a palette, but I'm just going to show you the drawer of single eyeshadows. <laughs> uh, these are like a lot of color pop singles that I have. And then... I have a few of these metallic ones from L'Oreal, the Infallible Paints Metallics. They're so metallic and good. And then I have, um, this came from a box, it's the Chrome Paint. Uh, Fire Dancer is the one I got in the box, and then I bought this whole thing of minis. You can see it there, where they have like mini versions of this in different colors. So they had a mini collection at the holiday for like $12 or something at Sephora, so I bought it because I really like the formula of those chrome paints. They're so good. All right, other small ones. What is this? Um, I have this like magnetic palette. I don't remember where I got this, what this came with. Oh, I think this came in a box. Anyway, and then um, these shadows were inside, but like in a foam insert. So I took the foam insert out and just put them in here. And then I'm gonna try and depot um, some of my individual eyeshadows and um, put them in here to take up less space. So this is, I haven't used any of those shadows. I only swatched them. Um, they're kind of cool. I mean, they're cool toned. And so that's not really my favorite, but um, I already touched them. And so I can't give them away. So I'll use them at some point. Okay, and then we have from ColourPop these two small ones. ColourPop did a whole um, series of releases this year of colors. So this is the green palette. It's the Just My Luck. It's really pretty. Um, I really love green and purple and yellow eyeshadow. All right, and this is the Uh -huh Honey, which is their yellow palette. Ooh, it's so pretty. If you don't know, yellow is my power color. Specifically, a mustard yellow. Anyway, it's really pretty. Um, that pressed glitter in the center is gorgeous. Um, yeah. So this is probably my favorite. It's Oh Behave. Cute. Oh, and Stinger. This one down here. Um, I like this a lot. Okay, this came from a beauty box. It's the Palm Springs, Palm Springs Dreams palette from Too Faced. I have not used this since I swatched it for the unboxing video, but it's very pretty. I plan on using it. 
um, it's a good neutral palette and then it has a couple pops of color and some glitter in there. I would travel with this actually. This would be a really good one to travel with because you can do neutral, you can do kind of a brighter look. Um, it, the packaging is really good so I don't think that it would get messed up in the travel. That's the thing about traveling. But this packaging is really nice and so I think it would hold up well. Okay, next we have from Ace Beauty the Scarlet Dusk palette. And, oh my God, so pretty. I have used this since I swatched it. It's very pretty. I love pink eyeshadow, I love red eyeshadow. I wear a lot of it. Um, that's probably, other than like a brown kind of look, like those are my first go-to. Pink, red, orange. I love them. And then here's another from Juvia's Place. This is the Saharan. This is one of my oldest palettes. I've had this for a long time. Um, and I have used it and used it and used it and it looks almost new. It is lasting so long. It's crazy. Like, I think it's just because this stuff is so pigmented. It lasts forever. Um, and I, you know, like I said, I have a lot of older ones and I really keep an eye on the texture of them and see like, does it look like they're not aging well and um, does it need to go away? <laughs> is it time to get rid of it? But like, honestly, like it still looks great. Nothing looks weird about the texture of the eyeshadow or anything, so it gets to stay a little bit longer. All right, more Beauty Box palettes. This is Celestial Thunder from Dominique Cosmetics. This is the mini, or not mini, but just like a smaller version of the full-size palette. If you look on Sephora, you can see this palette, and it has like maybe two to four more shades in it. I think, yeah, I think only two to four. Um, and so in the beauty box, they gave you this like kind of pared down version, which is really pretty. These swatched really beautifully. They're very pigmented. I like the colors. Um, I think that it's harder. I had a harder time blending these out to be sheer. Like they really wanted to be very pigmented and, and they didn't really blend out to a lighter version of their color very well. Do you know what I'm saying? So I kind of haven't used this as much because because of that because I have because I have it. <laughs> all right so next one is the marvelous mauves from dose of colors and I like this but I don't love this the um, here's what it looks like I love the color story this is very Laura Burns um, oh there you are Hi. <laughs> it's very wearable it's very everyday um, the pigmentation on this is not great. You have to put on a lot to see the color. They swatch better than they look on the eye, which is often the case. But um, I've worn this a few times. You can tell it's like powdery in there. Um, I like it, but I don't love it. Like it probably, if I do a palette pare down or something, it's not gonna make the cut, I don't think. It's like so pretty. I want it to be better than it is because I like those colors. Um, it's fine. You know what it's good for is when I want the wash of color that I can't get from this. <laughs> it's good for that. So I'm not going to just like trash you now, but you're, you know, on probation. All right. So next we have something that didn't come from a beauty box. This is the Naked Cherry palette. This was a gift uh, at Christmas from my brother and sister-in-law. And if you haven't seen that, it looks really pretty. I've used this a few times. I really like it a lot. Um, this is great for being able to give you a wash of color or build it up for a more like strong pigmented look. Um, I'm a really big fan of all the naked palettes that I have tried. Um, I know that the original one is more cool tone, so I probably wouldn't reach for that. <coughs> but like I have the naked three that somebody gave me. I have this that somebody gave me. Um, I was very close to buying the Honey, the Naked Honey palette, and still might at some point, but I'm not purchasing eyeshadow right now because I have so much of it and I continue to get it um, in boxes. But I do have another one. <laughs> this is the Naked Heat palette. I bought this for myself because look at it. This is very Laura Burnsy. Um, all these colors. I mean, they just look great on my skin tone. I have um, yellow undertones and also red uh, in the face and 
these just look so pretty on me. Um, and I think they, you know, would look great on a lot of people, but I really love this palette. I kind of forgot that I had this because it was buried under all that stuff. I'm going to put it on top so that I remember to use this because it's very pretty. Yeah. I'm like, ooh, I want to put it on. Laura Brent, you already put on makeup. Okay. And then the last long skinny palette I have, I purchased for myself. And this was like kind of a, a treat. This is the Gemini palette from Melt Cosmetics. Um, it's, it's pricey, but oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. So you can tell that green, the yellow, the brown, like all the things that I keep saying that I like, they're all here. Oh, the olive tones. Oh, I keep saying, oh, I just love it so much. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh. That's what sold me are um, these olive tones down here. And then this shade right here. I mean, it just looks so good. Anyway, and these look great um, on my skin tone. The black will be my least used. I told you I don't love those super dark colors. Um, I think I just don't know how to apply them correctly. But like also this shimmer shade right here. Gemini, ooh, it's like so soft and good. Oh my God, I'm gonna show you, hold on. Um, I dug in real deep on accident. It's just, and it looks like that on the eye. It's so pretty. Like what a gorgeous shade, oh my God. All right, I'm like makeup-y now. Oh no, I accidentally dug in. Let me pat it down. My baby, you're okay. <laughs> okay, and then I have two more. So we have the Jawbreaker palette from Jeffree Star. Um, this is my big colorful palette. So when I wanna wear bright colors, this is what I reach for because OMG, look at it. So pretty much any color that I get excited about that I wanna put on, I can find in here. And there's some that are more like a wash. There are some that are darker and you can build them all up. Um, I know that people are divided about Jeffree Star. Um, so if you are not a Jeffree Star person, then sorry. Um, I, and not an habituate, not like sorry, but just like, I'm sorry that I have to show you this. <laughs> Okay, and then the last one is the Blood Sugar Palette that is also by Jeffree Star. And I, everyone's all packaging crazy these days. I don't want, I honestly don't care that much about packaging. And this is cute and it has like this lock, but it's like hard to open because the, the materials are like hard to slide against each other. Anyway, I would rather just have like a regular like cardboard palette. Anyway, but yeah, so then this is the Blood Sugar Palette. So this is like pinks and reds again. Um, which is totally a go-to for me. If you've never tried the Jeffree Star Cosmetics formula for their eyeshadow, the not the super old palettes, but the new ones have a really nice formula um, that I really enjoy a lot. I think it's good for people like me who are not like great at makeup because um, they're nice formulas. And um, that's it. That's the palette tour. Those are all the eyeshadow palettes that I have, which are quite a few, maybe less than you, but it's a lot for me. This is for me, kind of a crazy amount of eyeshadow to have. Um, but I like it, and it's a fun hobby, and I like doing, I don't know, I like putting on makeup, it's fun. Um, so yeah, so that is that. I don't think any more comments came in. Oh, yeah, people did comment. Um, cat love those colors. Helen, I'm working from home for the next two months to try to do things that's hard to do with people around. When you're around every, like grow your gray out. Yeah, there you go. Take this time. I'm growing out my eyebrows. You grow out your gray hair. <laughs> so that's that. I'm gonna go and um, film my trunk club. The milk palette. Oh, the melt, melt. You mean um, this one? Yeah, so it's Melt, like I'm melting, Melt Cosmetics. I really like it. And they came out with a newer launch uh, pretty recently, the Amor Eterno palette. There's two palettes, um, and they're really gorgeous also. And I was like, I want you, but I don't need to have you. 
<laughs> All right, y'all. So that's going to do it for me today. Thank you for being here while I got ready. This is it. It's very, you know, natural, whatever, daytime look. Um, but yeah, so I'm ready now to film my video. So you can look for that later this week because I don't think I'm going to have time to edit it also today because I got other stuff that I can do. But I'm at least going to get it filmed, making progress, and um, hopefully in April I'm going to be able to push out more YouTube videos because I have a huge backlog of stuff that needs to get filmed. And March got away from me because I was like super anxious with all this stuff happening and just not in a place to be productive and make YouTube videos. But I'm feeling like I'm getting back in the groove and starting to catch up. So that's good. Um, thank you for watching and, um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye y'all.